गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग टेल्स फॉर जुलाई नाइन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो फ्रेंड्स आई होप दैट यू आर लाइकिंग दिस मॉर्निंग टेल सीरीज ऑफ आर्स सो इफ़ यू गाइज आर रियली लाइकिंग दिस सीरीज दैन डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर ऑल द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन एंड टूडे इन दिस मॉर्निंग टेल्स वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ न्यू इंडेक्स विच हैज बिन रिलीज बाय नीति आयोग अलॉन्ग विद डिस्कसिंग इंडियाज रैंकिंग इन हेनले एंड पार्टनर्स पासपोर्ट इंडेक्स एज वेल एज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ न्यू वेब टूल विच हैज बिन रिलीज बाय अ बैंक टू डिजिटलाइज इट्स नॉन परफॉर्मिंग एसेट रिकवरी प्रोसेस क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग things which we are going to cover in this video so let's begin our video with this first question which is of at most importance from the exam point of view so do listen to this question very carefully so the first question is which state has been ranked first in niti aayog's agriculture marketing and farmer friendly reforms index 2019 so there are five options madhya pradesh rajasthan punjab maharashtra kerala and out of these five options it is option d maharashtra which has been ranked at the first position in this agricultural marketing and farmer friendly reforms index so now the other question which comes up is that what is this index so friends this agricultural marketing and farmer friendly reforms index is an index which ranks states and union territories on the seven provisions proposed under the agriculture produce market committee act very important act it is so now what is this agriculture produce marketing committee act so as the name itself is suggesting that the act was brought in to bring reforms in the agricultural marketing so basically in order to revitalize the market for agricultural products this act was introduced so now the question for you is that when was this act introduced so you have to mention the answer in the comment section below that in which year was this act introduced now another important point about this question is that that maharashtra has been ranked at the first position and gujarat has taken up the second position in this rankings and which state is third so it is the state of rajasthan which has been ranked and at the third position so do remember these things about this index and another fact of importance to be noted here is that this index was released in the year 2016 by niti aayog to assess the states and union territories on the provisions proposed under the apmc act so remember this thing guys that the task for you is that you have to mention the year of this act apart from this we also discuss important news articles of the current affairs in our telegram group on a regular basis so you can enroll in the telegram group from the link which is given in the description box below so do get yourself enrolled in that telegram group in order to get the news articles on a regular basis and now let us move on to the next question of today that is with which company has reliance jio collaborated to launch digital udan an initiative for digital literacy very important question from exam point of view so guys as the name itself is suggesting that digital udan is a mission for digital literacy in india so now with which company has reliance jio collaborated to launch this mission so the answer to this question is option e that is facebook both facebook and reliance jio has launched this digital literacy initiative that is called digital udan in order to aware people or in order to create literacy among people about the digital technologies and now what does this digital udan aims to do first of all it aims to create digital literacy secondly this digital udan mission will also help reliance jio to make people aware about the features of jio phone so under this initiative reliance and facebook will make people aware about jio phone and also about the usage of facebook apart from this an additional information here is that that this digital udan mission will be conducted on every saturday and it will be conducted in 10 regional languages so basically under this mission an audio visual training in 10 regional languages will be provided to the people in 200 different locations but do remember about the name of this mission as well as the companies which have collaborated to launch this mission and now let us move on to the third question of today that is what is the percentage of deaths caused by non communicable diseases 
in 2016 according to india health of the nation's states report so this is a very key report which has been released by indian council of medical research and this report mentions that in the year 2016 around 61.8% people died due to non communicable diseases a very huge percentage it is from the social security point of view and now what are these non communicable diseases that have caused such huge amount of deaths in india so these non communicable diseases are cancer tb cardiovascular diseases diabetes etc so these are the diseases which have caused such a huge quantum of deaths in 2016 apart from this another important point to be noted here is that that in order to tackle the menace of this non communicable diseases and to provide medicines of cancer and cardiovascular diseases at an affordable rate ministry of health had launched amrit scheme in the year 2015 now what does this amrit stands for Amrit is the abbreviation for affordable medicines and reliable implants for treatment and now another key fact about this report is that that this report compares the percentage of death from the year 1990 to 2016 so basically in the year 1990 around 37.9 percentage of people died due to non communicable diseases which has increased to 61.8 percent in the year 2016 Apart from this India has also done a miraculous job to reduce its communicable disease so in the year 1990 53.6% people were suffering from communicable diseases and this number has been reduced to 27.5% so it's such a huge achievement for india so that was all about this question and friends if you are liking our morning tale series so do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for all the latest notifications and now let us move on to the next question of today that is what is india's rank in the henley passport index 2019 so another important question from exam point of view this henley passport index 2019 shows that india is at the 86th position and india is sharing this position with two other countries which are mauritania and sao tome and principe so these are the two countries with which india is sharing this 86th position and what is the score of india so india has been scored with 58 points so what does this score mean so this score means that 58 countries in the world allow indian passport holders to enter in their countries without prior visa or they can also avail the facility of visa on arrival in 58 countries so that is the score of india and what is the rank it is 86 apart from this the countries which have topped and the countries which are at the last position in this index are also important so the countries which are on the top are japan and singapore these two countries have been given the score of 189 which means that the japanese passport and the passport of singapore is allowed visa free or visa on arrival facility in 189 countries and apart from this this is the second time in which india and singapore has been ranked at the first position so this is the second consecutive year for japan and singapore and now which country has been ranked at the very last position so it is afghanistan with a score of 25 so that means that 25 countries only in this world allowed afghanistan passport to enter visa free or avail the facility of visa on arrival so that was all about this passport index but do remember india's position and these countries also So now let's move on to the next question of today that is which bank has launched the vasool so fast web tool to digitize the recovery process of non performing assets important and interesting as well as so there are five options isbc bank maharashtra bank axis bank karnataka bank and state bank of india and out of these five options it is option d that is karnataka bank which is the answer to this question so recently the ceo of karnataka bank has launched this web tool called vasool so fast in mangaluru to fasten up its non performing assets recovery process 
and also to digitalize it. So this Vasools of Fast tool aims to bring effectiveness in the banking system by digitalizing the recovery process. So now the question for you guys is that who is the CEO of Karnataka Bank? So now let's move on to the last question of today that is where is Gangotri National Park situated? So this is the comment time and the question is for you guys that you have to mention in the comment section below. This is a very important question from the general awareness point of view because it's the static question. So recently a video has gone viral and in the video this snow leopard was shown wandering in the national park freely. Now what does that indicate? This indicates that India has done a good job in conserving its wildlife very cautiously. And apart from this another important fact about the snow leopards is that snow leopard has been listed as vulnerable in international union for conservation of nature's red list. IUCN's red list is the list of endangered animals and in this red list this snow leopard has been mentioned as vulnerable animal. Basically it is on the extent of extinction or basically it is an endangered animal. So now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today but do mention your answers for the questions in the comment section below and guys if you have liked the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest notifications. Apart from this you can also join the telegram group which is there for the students in order to get daily updates of current affairs as well as very important news articles which are shared on this telegram group. So thank you so much for watching our video.